Hello again, we're working with Heron's formula, and basically this is a formula to figure out the area of a triangle. It's really cool. Um, I don't know who Heron is, and I never actually looked him up or her, whatever, it's probably a guy though. And it basically states that the area of a triangle is equal to the square root of something called s, where s is the semi-perimeter. It's s times the quantity s minus a times the quantity s minus b times the quantity s minus c. a, b, and c are all respective sides of a triangle. Uh, s actually is one half times the quantity a plus b plus c. So I want to figure out the area of a triangle. I'm going to figure out the area of a triangle that I actually already know, just to kind of prove that this works, show that this formula actually works. So I've got this triangle, and it doesn't have to be a right triangle. Heron's formula can work with any triangle where all the sides are given. I'm just doing this one because I know this one. This is a uh, Pythagorean triangle, uh, Pythagorean triple part means a right angle triangle. Actually, if you're remodeling your basement, you could also uh, prove that your work is a square by using a uh, Pythagorean triple, you know, 3, 4 on one side, or a squared plus b squared should equal your c squared. So making, or rectangle, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, if you want to check if your work is good, yeah, one way to do that. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent there. I should probably just go with this. So the area equals all this great stuff. Well, my s, let's go figure out what that is, is a plus b plus c. So s equals one half times a plus b plus c, that's 3 plus 4 plus 5. I'll go ahead and write that step. And 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 4 is 12, and half of 12 is 6. So my s equals 6. Let's just make sure that's right. 7, 12, 6, yeah, s is 6. I'm going to go ahead and figure this out. Just to prove it, or just to show it really quickly beforehand, if I wanted to figure out the you know, area of this triangle, it'd be 1 half base times height. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that this and this match. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just saying this is the semi-perimeter that I plug into this formula, and that's going to give me my answer. But 1 half base times height. Base is uh, uh, 4. The height is 3. Half of 4 and 3 is, well, 4 and 3 is 12. Half of that is 6. So my area is 6. I'm not saying that the semi-perimeter and the area are the same. I'm saying when you figure out your semi-perimeter, you uh, substitute it into this formula to figure it out. Just some strange coincidence that that happened. Okay, so area equals, so let's go ahead and figure that out. It's 6 times 6 minus my a side. And it doesn't really matter which one's a and which one's b. It just matters which one's c. So I'm going to call my 3a times 6 minus 4, which is my b, times 6 minus 5. Area equals 6, or excuse me, square root of 6 times 3 times 2 times 1. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 36 times 1 is still 36. So that's the square root of 36. Therefore, the area is 6. Bam. Very simple application of Heron's formula. Usually when you're given this type of problem, you're given one that's you know, not a right angle, first of all, and it's got really big numbers, which are really annoying to work with, and something that you can't just simply use base times height uh, times a half works for it. Because this works on the right triangle, it's not going to work on, you know, some, something else. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for Heron's formula. Hopefully you found that helpful. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.